As you can see, last week we went 8-8 eight eight in our predictions. Not my best. I guarantee it gets better. Week 1 is always probably the hardest to predict. So, let's just get it right into Thursday Night Football. We got Vikings. We got Eagles. And we got a prediction that I'm 100% confident on. Yes. Remember what happened last year in Week 2. The same thing's about to happen. Eagles are going to smack the Vikings around for three straight quarters, putting their backups in the fourth. And, and it's going to look like it did exactly like it did last year, really. That's all. That's really all. And let's move on. Ravens, Bengals. Okay. So, so we've, we've been here before. Ravens, Bengals, early in the season. Joe Burrow struggles. Lamar looks elite. Week two, Lamar is actually a thing. Week one, Joe Burrow is actually a thing as well. You know what the problem is, though? It doesn't matter. It's in Cincinnati. They have the odds act up against them after a terrible last week. Last year, I know they did lose to the Cowboys week two last year. And they lost to the Steelers week one. But, man, I actually know. I'm I'm rocking with him. No, week two, Lamar lost last year. But we, Joe Burrow just struggled so much in the beginning of the season. I just... I really don't know who to pick in this game. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to flip ahead. Wheel. No, no, no. Heads, heads versus tails. Let's do it. Let's do it. I, I, I don't know. This is not the one. Come on. What? <coughs> Come on. Let's reload this. Flip it. Okay, but this doesn't count. Is the next one that matters? All right. Clearly, the Ravens are gonna be heads, and the Bengals will be tails. Whoever wins coin toss gets my prediction. So we're going to go with the Ravens. Week 2 Lamar is actually a thing. Let's move on. Week 3 in the NFL, we got Lions. First game in Detroit this year versus the Seahawks who struggled week 1. And I honestly see it happening. Seahawks start off the year 0-2. There's no reason for them to beat the Lions. The Lions look so... They just beat the Super Bowl defending champions that are going to go 2-0. Who we got next? Who we got next? Okay, I, I don't know who to pick. Is Anthony Richardson playing? I know he got hurt. I'm pretty sure he's playing. I, they're, they're, both these quarterbacks I are the two I don't believe in the most out of the three of them. But Anthony Richardson looked better than C.J. Stroud did week one, but it is in Houston. They, they played a tougher opponent, the Colts. I'm rolling with the Colts. They have defensive talent, which I like. They have Michael Pittman and Anthony Richardson's connection, which is very good. And Pat McAfee used to kick for him, so we're rocking with him, honestly. Texans, I would not be surprised, though, if you won that game. And this is the first one, or second one, really, that I'm not too sure on. Bucks, Bears, I'm also not too sure on this one, but if we're looking at it, logically, who won last week and who got destroyed last week? Buccaneers won, but will they start 2-0? and It's at home. I, I, it's two teams that aren't going to be good this year, so it's kind of hard for me to be like okay let's see i don't know i'm just not too sure about it but i think i i'm gonna go with the buccaneers twitter uh if i change any of my picks like last week i predicted a week and a half early so i changed one of my picks did not go in my way i went from bills or jets bills sadly uh it came out not in my favor but hey i i do think this is going to be a good game it'll be a barn burner but doesn't mean it's always a good game. Next up, <sighs> will the Chiefs start 2-0? The best September team in the last 10 years. Will they start off 2-0? I'm not too sure. Ooh, let me get some water to decide this. <sighs> oh, that's a lot of water. I don't think T-Law looked that good week one. We know they didn't start off good last year, but they ended winning like six or seven in a row. So I'm really between the two, but between picking the Chiefs and the Jags. But uh, honestly, if I'm looking at it, you're looking at it. I, we both know who who's the Super Bowl defending champs and who beat them in the divisional round. We know the Chiefs won that divisional game. We know how bad Patrick Mahomes wanted to play in that game. We know how bad he's going to want to beat them again. I got the Chiefs winning by a narrow bit in Duval County. Packers, Falcons in Atlanta. 
I picked the Packers last week. I also picked the Falcons last week. I'm Bijan's gonna cook. But if the Packers rushing rushing attack was the same way as it was this last week, there's no shot I don't think the Packers win this game. Or no shot I think the Packers lose this game. So I'm gonna be riding with the Green Bay Packers to beat the Falcons in a very, very close mid scoring game. Like the most mid like the most predictable football game of all time, like a thirty to twenty four win for the Packers this week. Hit the over though, probably. Bills, Raiders, uh, do we need to discuss this one? I guess we do after Jimmy Garoppolo wasn't terrible. But he, li he likes Jacoby Myers apparently, but they're not going to beat the Bills even without Von Miller. I got the Bills winning by like 20. Okay. We got ourselves a matchup. The two most even games last week probably. The losers of them are playing each other, and I don't know who to pick really. Chargers put up a lot more. Titans defense looks a lot better. Mm, I like their coach more. I think he's going to outcoach Brandon Staley. We all know Mike Vrabel knows how to coach football extremely well. And that's why I'm going to pick them in this game because Mike Vrabel is just going to simply outcoach Brandon Staley, who shouldn't be a starting co co coach in the NFL. Or sh I should say head coach. I was about to say starting quarterback. He just simply shouldn't be a starting quarterback in the NFL, which is why you have to pick the other team because like, if your quarterback isn't good enough to actually start, why is he still there? And yeah, I, I'm interested to see what the line is really quick, because who's fa who's favored in this one? Chargers are favored. Uh, I'm roll rocking with them. I use my head in this one and not Vegas. <sighs> Rams 49ers. This one could be tough. I'll be right back. I gotta put my copies of Madden away because I'll never probably play them again. But Madden 25 comes out next. I actually already have Madden 25, so I'm already got the new Madden. Trust me. Oh, my back. Rams are not bad this year. They are the same Super Bowl Rams, but they're not winning the Super Bowl. You heard me. They're the same team, but they're not going to win the bowl this year. And I don't. Uh, without Cooper, I would. They had Cooper Cup. I would pick the Rams right now, but I, they don't. 24 21. 49ers win. Yaka Manaka Naka Waka Haka. Start him in fantasy. I'll tell you that, though. Giants should win this one pretty easily. You all know I picked the Cardinals to win how many games this year? And I'm not predicting them to win one in this series either. My season predictions and my weekly predictions, I will stand by. I will have the Cardinals win zero football games this year. Because guess what? I don't care. And I wish I had this on my other screen. Can I copy this? Is there a way to copy? Oh! There is. Didn't show up. Oh! Oh! Look at that! Look at that! Copy and pasted. Figured it out. Last week, 8 and 8. Hold on, we gotta adjust it, though. There we go, last week, 8-8. Eight eight. There we are. All right, the Giants beat the Cardinals, as we all know. The Giants own the Cardinals. <laughs> Let, let's go to the next game. That one was way too obvious to be talking about for any more than 15 seconds. Cowboys-Jets. Aaron Rodgers is not playing, which means the Cowboys will win because Aaron Rodgers actually owns the Bears and the Cowboys. I wonder if he transferred that over to Jordan Love as well. Probably not because Cowboys are actually a good football team. So I got the Cowboys winning in a very close game because the Cowboys offense wasn't very good this last week and the Jets offense wasn't very good last week but their defenses were very elite so I'm going to say like 14-10 no 14-12 Cowboys win I don't think Zach Wilson can get down and score a touchdown I just don't believe in him Broncos Commanders if they don't win this week we can talk all the crap we want about Bron the Broncos and Russell Wilson because that means they're 0-2 their chances of making the playoffs have significantly went down. Check this out. Check this out. Watch one second. Let me do the. Let me show you the math really quick. Get a calculator. Let me get a calculator. So they got 100 divided by 17 times 10. All right. So you got to win 58% of your games. Uh, we can round up to 59. Since, oh, hold on. We can. This is the percentage you need to win of your games in a season to probably make the playoffs an average. 
So then let's do let's do what they need now. Cause they need hundred divided by fifteen times ten, right? That would be the math. If they lose this, they need to win sixty seven, then that's just straight up not happening. So I'm gonna go with the Broncos because I don't believe in Sam Hollow yet. He hasn't showed me anything. I haven't seen any highlights of him, so we're riding with him. Patriots, Dolphins. Ah, they didn't look bad. The Patriots. The Dolphins looked elite. I think it's gonna be a very good game. But if the Patriots come in for Tom Brady, they, they're not gonna be able to beat two. I don't think. But I don't think they're used to the snow. Oh, it ain't even snowy up in New England. I, I don't know, man. This is Sunday Night Football. I don't even like this game, really. There's two Monday Night games next week. Does that mean? Ah, oh, there is. I don't even like this game. Sunday Night Football. I might go live during it. But then I can't have a full week to, like, grasp my knowledge. If I go live that week, I'm probably not going to go live till Thursday. And I would need to do predictions that day, and I wouldn't be able to see what the Browns steal. I'm going to think the Steelers are garbage. I'm going to think the Panthers are garbage. I'm going to think the Saints are mid. I'm going to think the Browns are mid. And I'm, I, I, I'm going to think the Dolphins are elite. It just doesn't really work very well. You see what I'm talking about? But I do think that the Patriots are going to win this game. I seriously do think Mac Jones is going to pop off. And they're going to win their first Sunday Night Football game in a while. And Bill Belichick is going to go home as a champion. Saints-Panthers. Monday night football. Monday, Monday later afternoon football. I don't know between the two of them. I really hope I don't work this day so I can watch both of them. But between the two games, I mean, who do I want and who do I need to choose? Panthers have price. Man, I got the Saints. Screw this, man. They don't even have Alvin Kamara and I'm picking them because guess what? Who needs Alvin Kamara when you literally... You don't need Elvin Kamara because guess what? You have Jamal Williams, I wish you had Mark Ingram, Chris Olave, Rashid Shaheed, Derek Carr, Ryan Ramchek. I'm just not I'm just gonna stop there. You have multiple weapons. You have enough to beat the Panthers until the end of the year. I think the Panthers are gonna end their year very hot because I think Bryce Young is gonna start popping off at the end of the season. Then we go Browns, we go Browns versus Steelers. Who are we choosing today? Browns or Steelers? Can I, can I get someone? Uh, I don't know. Ah. It's tough between these two because the Browns, I'm pick. Kenny Pickett, I mean, either the 49ers are really that good or Kenny Pickett is just didn't get any better. Maybe even got worse. Let's check out the stats. KP, who, how did you do? Did you throw three picks? Okay, so he actually didn't do that terribly black. I, I just can't pick. I could pick the Browns this week. I couldn't pick the Browns this week. Because they're going into Pittsburgh. It's a hard stadium to play in, especially at night. Such a good fan base. They're going to be loud. Tom, Tom. Tom. Tomlin? That, that ain't even his name. Tomlin. Mike Tomlin. Oh, my goodness. He's just not going to lose this week. I'm pretty confident that they're going to be able to take it home this week, honestly. So that is why I'm probably going to have to rock with my guys in a close game. But I would not be surprised if the Browns won and I go 8-8 eight and eight again this week. But I do think these predictions, I want 10-6 and six this week at the minimum. I want to have a good record this year. I want to have almost twice as many uh, wins as I have losses. But I want twice as many right as I have wrong. But hey, if I can't do that, I can't do it. It is what it is.